hello, 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 y'all. I was waving at the landscaper. Oh, and I'm about to get into a head on flea. Hello, my darlings. I am going to do a quick car chat with you. Happy Friday. Um, I did not put my phone on silent or do not disturb. So there's a 100% chance that this video will be interrupted and I will have to come back to you in multiple clips. Let me shut this because quite frankly, it's putting a shiny spot on my, my balding forehead. So let's just take care of that right now. So hello. I promise I haven't fallen off the face of the earth. It is real estate insanity at the moment. Okay. I have got about eight different things going on and they are all in different paperwork process. Um, and they are all, everybody needs different things from me. So it has been a very interesting time. I'm trying to decide. I need a notebook. I'm trying to think and video and it's not a good combination. I wonder if I can find that at the Dollar Tree. I probably just need to go to like TJ Maxx to be honest. I'm going to go to TJ. I, I feel it in my soul that I need to go to the TJ Maxx. So I'm going to get some uh, notebooks because I have got to get myself better organized because when it comes to when I've got two or three houses going on I can pretty well in my brain keep them situated and organized but I have got to got to got to get a master notebook where I keep all my transactions I'm telling y'all the stress level for tolerate me has been at maximum it's all been good and it's all what I want I want to be busy, trust me, with real estate because the more busy I am, the more money is coming in. So I want that and I know that that's the goal. Um, but it has about made me cray cray. <sighs> There's a lot of paperwork involved in the real estate world and let's say I need one form. I don't know why I'm going into this detail with you guys, so just go with me. You're, you're like my mental therapy session right now. Let's say there's a f one piece of paperwork, which by the way, in any given real estate transaction, there are approximately, and I'm not lying, at least 200 pages of documents, probably, that, that go back and forth between the agents and the homeowners and the buyers and the sellers. And so, if one form needs to be signed, for example, if somebody that I'm dealing with has to have a, 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 a form signed, I have to get my people to sign it. I have to send it to them electronically, have them sign it, send it back to me. I then have to save that file to my computer, send it to the other side, have that side, send it to their folks, sign that, then send it back. Then I have the final document that I use and then have to send to everybody in the transaction, the lender, um, the title company, all that stuff. So. It's just a little stressful. So you have to remember what you've sent, when you've sent it, who you've sent it to, and what you still lack. And all of these can be going at different times and different needs from everyone. And so it's just insanity. But today's the day I'm going to get organized. I had a really stressful day yesterday, but I ran with mystery this morning. And she and I both were like, you know what? We're going to have a really good day today. And by George, we're going to have a good day today. It's Friday. I don't know when I'll post this, but it's Friday today. And I just wanted to come on and say hi. So I'm going to TJ Maxx to find the perfect notebook. I'm caffeinated. Um, I watched Mommy Dearest this morning, which is one of my very favorite movies of all time with, um, Lord, honey, there's the popo. Somebody's getting arrested. Lord, fix it, Jesus. Oh, my heavens. For the grace of God, go I. Um, what was I telling you? Oh, Mommy Dearest is about Joan Crawford, and she is played by Faye Dunaway, and her performance is ridiculous and amazing, and it's a cult classic, and if you haven't seen Mommy Dearest, stop this video right now. It's actually streaming on Hulu. I own it, but it's also streaming on Hulu, so you should go check it out. We're almost at TJ Maxx, so I'm very excited. I may go into Hobby Lobby trying to decide what I want to do. I may start with the teach, see what that situation looks like, and then go from there. I also need to go to the Dollar Tree at some point because I want to get a, a small zipper pouch for my pins. Hobby Lobby would probably have that though too, but not for, not for uno dollar. 
because right now I just have, oh, and I also, before I get out of the car, do not let me forget to show you. When I was in Chinatown, I got a fabulous, fabulous, fabulous bag. And it holds all of my real estate stuff. So I want to show you that because it has been my lifesaver. It carries all my documents with me at all times. And I love it. I'm obsessed with it. I'm actually thinking about going online to try to find a similar bag to have as like a backup just in case anything ever happens to this bag. Because that's how I am. When I get something I really like, I'm like, oh my God, if something happens to it. It's ridiculous. And I feel like I have to have a backup. I also have not even been to the Bath and Body Works because your homeboy, after the last semi-annual sale, I need an intervention. Like, the first step is admitting you have a problem. Oh, did you hear that big explosion? Everything's happening on the road. Uh, the first step is admitting you have a problem. I admit it. Let's not get that twisted. I fully admit it. See? We did get interrupted slightly, but that's okay, we're back. Um, I don't know what I was talking about, probably my bag and the fact that I was gonna get a notebook. And I already did it. So let me show you, I'm so excited about this notebook because it's Ray Dunn. Are any of you Ray Dunn fans out there? It says my thoughts and it is a 160 page lined notebook. And it's just adorable. And so this is how I'm gonna get organized today. That's my plan, because mentally I need to. And I also got Ray Dunn thank you cards. I just love Ray Dunn stuff. It's just so cute. Everything is in that really, really cute font, and you get 12 note cards. Um, this was $6. The notebook was 7 And then I'm going to show you my bag. And let me tell you that I, and I'm going to use this for later, so I can take a picture of that. Um, I use thank you cards when I help somebody buy or sell a house. So when it comes to closing time, they get a little present from me. And I've usually put a Lowe's gift card or a Home Depot gift card or something along those lines. So yes, that is what that is. And these have about had it. These need to go bye-bye. So yes, and I'm going to put this in my bag that I got in New York City. Is that not adorable? It's got the long strap. It's got these straps. I'm going to get a cute little keychain for it. I don't know what it's going to be yet, but I need a thumbnail. And inside, and if you follow me on Instagram, you would have already seen this. Um, Put my little notebook in there. And then honey, today is the day that Tyler Ramey gets his life together. Let me put my name tag on because you never know what kind of situation you're gonna be in and who you're gonna see that needs to buy or sell a house. Let's get that straight. So now I'm on my way to the real estate office. I like to go and work at the real estate office on Fridays because it tends to be less crowded. And I can kind of have my Zen moment of sitting there. Um, I used to love, like back in the college days, honey, wait, we're going way back in time. Talking about when Tyler Ray moves in college. Which, by the way, did y'all know that I went to school to be an elementary education teacher and that's what my degree was in way back when? But anyway, I used to love to go um, to the library, not to check out books, clearly, but I have always been the type where I am I'm very much more productive and on point when I'm not in my home. I get distracted easily. Um, I don't study well at home. I don't do paperwork well at home. So back in the day, I would go to the office. I'm trying to think what the fastest approach is gonna to be to do this. Probably this way. Um, I would go to the library and find a study room and just camp out there. I mean, honey, I would take my lunch, I would take my laptop, I would take everything, and I would just, I would just put up, I would just put up shop. I would just stay there the entire day, get everything that I needed to get done in one fell swoop, and I just work better that way. So same thing goes for me now in the real estate office. So there you go. Also, I went to this adorable 
dinner party last night and they had these cookies as party favors when you left. But I'm not eating it because honey, post New York City, I am on a sugar detox. I think I told you all about that, but it's, it's in full effect. I think I have lost a little bit of my New York City bloat that occurred because I was eating literally everything in sight. Um, but yeah, so I'm, when I say no sugar, I do this quite frank, quite a lot, actually. I'm either off sugar or I'm on sugar. And when I say on sugar, I mean it's ridiculous. And when I say off sugar, because people are always like, well, carbs turn into sugar and fruit has natural sugar. For Tyler Ramey, no sugar. When I'm doing no sugar, that means no desserts. That means I'm not going to eat cookies and cake and brownies and candy and pie and Danish and donuts and ice cream and etc etc that's all that means let's not get it twisted it doesn't mean i'm not doing any sugar i know things have sugar um it just means that you know i'm not doing any dessert and i have to do that because of my addictive personality i'm either on or off and so new york city was like my last hurrah of dessert to quote unquote eat whatever i wanted to and i went overboard so all that to say I have not had any dessert in five days and I'm feeling good. I need to go by Walmart at some point today and get some more protein drinks because I have also not been doing a great job of feeding myself during all the real estate stress when I'm going. I mean, and y'all know I'm still at the YMCA teaching my classes. So I teach 12 times a week. So between going back and forth to the real estate agency and to the YMCA, I'm going And then I get home at night and I'm like, oh, I haven't eaten. So I'm trying to do a better job of feeding myself. I'm trying to do a better job. I need to go to the grocery store desperately. Let's go ahead and say that right now. Desperately need to go to the grocery store. And yes, I'm just trying to situate myself and situate my life. So, anywho, that's your recap. Thank you guys for coming along with me today. Catching up, looking at my bag, looking at my notebook, all that jazz. I hope everyone is having a fantastic fall. It's officially fall in Tennessee, even though you would not know it because it's 90 degrees, but we're not going down that road because you know how passionate I am. But just so you know, I'm still over it. I've been over it. I'm still over it. I'll always be over it. I hate the summer weather. That's it. That's it. That's it. I love you and I mean it. And I will talk to you guys soon. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Um, hit that bell notification. You'll get uploaded every single time I upload a video. And until next time, I will talk to you soon. Goodbye.